Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today, I am making a video about being a freshman in high school. Uh, I know this vi this video is kind of late because I know a lot of people have been in school already, but um, it's only been like what the first weeks, maybe the first month. I started August 9th, so I've been in school for a month actually. So I have made a list of everything, most things that are covered when you're a freshman. When you're a freshman, you tend to be overwhelmed maybe a little stressed uh, you may encounter like new people a new environment unless you like your school has like all grades but when most high schools you do go to like a whole new environment a whole new building a whole new like school you may encounter new teachers new people um, friends maybe teachers work everything is different and it can be overwhelming because you know you're just trying to adjust <laughs> the best thing is that when you're a freshman freshman year should be your easiest year in high school um, I don't think it should be hard for you because the school is letting you adjust to a new environment Usually from sophomore on you do get more work you do they do take you more seriously But as a freshman they let you go off easy in my school They didn't let us have history for freshman year. They wanted us to have more electives and so and so on so the first thing is immaturity or maturity is when you're in a school when you're in a place full of people who are older than you it's pretty appreciative that you should be more mature and not be, you know, obnoxious. Like, I'm not talking about people who like laugh or whatever. I'm talking about the kids, the little freshmen who like laugh, play tag, run around everywhere. Like, it is not necessary. Even when I was a freshman, I wasn't like that because First of all, that's not a place where you can play. It's a place where you talk or you walk or you do whatever you want. It's not a playground. Don't treat it like you can, like, it's playtime. It's actually just a time to be social and do what you gotta do. And when you're immature, no one's gonna take you seriously. No one's gonna respect you because you don't even take yourself seriously. So if you want like upperclassmen to respect you and like you, don't be immature and you know, be embarrassing. The second thing that you should maybe consider is your grades. You know, grades are a big part in school. The whole reason you're in school is for you to get good grades and get a good in education. Now, um, Grades for me aren't really a problem because you know you pay attention if you just pay attention and like really think about what the teacher is saying you should really get what you have to do instead of playing around and you know not letting yourself focus on what you have to do but um, grades shouldn't be a problem especially freshman year you should have it easy just as long as you pay attention, ask questions, ask for help if you need help, and, you know, um, just learn. I'm so sorry. Someone called me. Okay, but anyway, so, friends. Friends, if you, if you have, like, a best friend who's going to high school with you, just a little warning not everybody who's going to high school with you will be your friend like during the year um, you could have a best friend maybe like a couple friends and once school starts like you start drifting away from each other and it's pretty sad um, it happened to me I had a best friend uh, we were really close like during middle school and now like high school started 
you know, like she had things to do that she wanted to do for for school. I had things to do and, you know, we just started drifting apart and now we just rarely talk. If anything, it's just a hi when you walk by school. We, can, we never really hang out anymore and it's kind of like, it's sad, but I think it's like, maybe it's a good way of saying like you're changing and you're growing up. But, you know, there's some people who do stay with you through the end, and that's very rare these days. So, if you have people like that, keep them close and don't let them go. Now, I think a big problem, a big uh, thing that freshmen do worry about is being bullied by upperclassmen. You know, we see all those movies where people, where like upperclassmen just shove you in lockers, put you like in trash cans or whatever people are not like that people wouldn't do that because first of all they care about their education seniors are not going to go up to a little freshman and like hurt them because not only does that affect them it affects them more than it'll affect you because you know they're being a bully and they're much more they should be much more mature so for upperclassmen are not going to do that to you but just don't be mean to them don't disrespect fresh upper class sorry don't disrespect upperclassmen thinking you're the you're everything because you're in high school now they've been in high school more than you have so you better respect those people now during high school you really start to um discover yourself you start to think like you just start to change um, and I think that change could be for the better and it, maybe it could be for the worse I don't know but when you're in high school you start to explore new things new things that you never wanted you never thought of doing and you just do it and then it just changes you now there is something in high school that is very very serious and you should never do it um is drink and do drugs drugs is very serious and it could very damage it could damage your body it may not damage your body now but when you get older you can have very bad bad effects later in life so just don't do it at all if you ever have peer pressure just say no and if they like bother you about it, those people are not your friends. And honey, you need to find some new ones. Um, hanging with the with the wrong crowd could change you as well, and not for the good. Because I've seen people who used to be my friends, used to like, you know, I've known them forever, and like now they just like, now they just like do drugs they drink they don't they don't pay attention in class or they don't even come to class and I think that's like an Amer if you are born in America you are very lucky because you get a free education there are some countries in the world that do not give free education and I think that's very sad so I'm very grateful that we do get a free education but there's people out here who take it for advantage and then later in life, they're not going to be as successful as other people could be. So when you want to change, just change for the better. Be a better you. Um, you know, just don't don't do those bad things, guys. <laughs> a big thing that could really if you really want to be in school if you really want to participate in anything join a club or join a sport if you're athletic join all the sports um sports are really fun i don't do sports i don't do clubs um for reasons that i can't really explain right now but um you know just like get out there if you like sports if you like a certain sport you could join in um if you're scared, don't be scared. It's a great way of just like making new friends that have the same interests as you. And I think that's a really great way to make friends and a great way to do something that you love about school. Maybe you'll like school a little more if you join things like that. So, yeah. 
And the last thing that you should do is never give attitude to everybody. If you're having a bad day, yeah, I get it. But please don't disrespect people. Don't make people have another worse day. Um, at the end of the at the end of the day, high school goes by so fast. So don't regret anything and just like have a good time in high school and make sure you make the right choices. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Uh, give it a thumbs up and I'll see what other videos I can make. Uh, and yeah, so bye guys.